called in an inductor. Okay. Uh, what is actually an inductor? Inductor is a solenoid. Okay. Inductor is a solenoid. You know why solenoid? Yes. Uh, the solenoid that has the wires uh, wind up in a like a coil, isn't it? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, solenoid is known as inductor. Uh, inductor also known as solenoid. That's it, yeah? Uh, now, do the solenoid store any energy? Yes. Yeah, when you have current flowing through the solenoid. Yeah, when uh, connected to a current, the, uh, uh, when got current passes through the solenoid, do it store any energy? Yes. Yes, yeah? Uh, when got current pass through the solenoid, it has magnetic field, isn't it? Uh, that magnetic field is actually the energy store of the solenoid. Uh, it's just that energy stored in the solenoid is the form of magnetic field. Yeah? Uh, got magnetic field means got energy stored in the inductor. Yeah? If no magnetic field, no energy, uh, no energy store. Understand? Yes. Uh, how to have magnetic field? How to have magnetic field in the solenoid? You must have current, lah. Okay? Uh, that's why to calculate the energy stored in the solenoid or inductor, the formula is half Li squared. Uh, got current. You see or not? Yes. Got current. Uh, got current. If current is uh, not equal to zero, then got energy store. If current equal to zero, no. uh, if current equal to zero means no magnetic field, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the, the magnetic field actually for solenoid is what? Mio naught and I. Still remember chapter 4? Uh, in chapter 4, we learned about the magnetic field of the solenoid. Uh, you must have current, then only got magnetic field. Uh, so, for inductor, the energy is stored in the form of magnetic field. Okay? So, you see, that's why the formula of energy store, you must have current. Okay? And L is the inductance. Yeah, we learned about inductance during the self inductance, isn't it? The unit for inductance is Henry. Energy store, of course, is energy, right? Yes. Joule. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so inductor, you have North Pole and South Pole uh, for magnet. Uh, for magnet, you have North Pole and South Pole. Now, for if you look at the energy store for capacitor, it has similar formula. You see or not? That's why it's like, we call it analogy. Similar formula. For capacitor, it's actually parallel plate. Yeah, parallel plate we learn in chapter 1, right? Yeah. Chapter 1 we learn about parallel plate. Parallel plate means it has positive plate and yeah. negative plate. Uh, for solenoid, it has north pole, south pole. For parallel plate, it has positive terminal and negative terminal. terminal. Uh, so for capacitor, do it store any energy? Yes. Yes. Electrostatic energy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Electrostatic potential energy. Uh, so the formula for uh, energy stored in capacitor or electric potential energy, it is half CV square. You see, it's similar, isn't it? This is half Li square, this is half CV square. Uh, but why this one use voltage instead of current? Why this one use voltage for capacitor? Use uh, potential difference instead of using current? Uh, because got the, between the plate, there has potential difference. We have potential difference. We have uh, like positive terminal is positive 20 volt. Uh, the negative terminal is uh, like negative 20 volt. So the potential difference is 40. Yeah, that means high minus low potential. You get 40 volt, isn't it? Uh, so you have potential difference. Uh, so you've got potential difference. That only got electric field, isn't it? Because this electric field. Uh, comes from what? What's the formula for electric field? Delta V over D, isn't it? Uh, so for capacitor, the energy is stored in the form of electric field. If got electric field, got energy stored in capacitor. If no electric field, no energy stored. Uh, if got electric field means got potential difference. Uh, delta got delta V. Uh, then got electric field. Uh, got, got delta V, then got electric field, got energy stored. Uh, if no potential difference, voltage equal to zero, 
So electric field zero, energy store also zero. Okay. So in short, the energy store for inductor comes from the current. The energy store in capacitor comes from the potential difference. Okay. So this energy store in the form of magnetic field. This store in the form of electric field. Okay. Uh, other electric field means other energy store lah. Okay. So okay. So half Li square, half Cv square. The formula is similar. This one use inductance. This one use capacitance. Uh, unit farad. Okay. Uh, itu saja lah. Right. Uh, inductance is uh, how to spell lah. Inductance. Uh, inductance. Unit Henry. Uh, capacitance is uh, capacitance. Farad. Okay. 